Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Varus in the top lane because it's actually sleeper OP. You can basically one-shot everyone as long as you get them low HP because of your W's execute damage. Whenever you W active into a Q, they get sliced right in half regardless of their HP because it is percent base damage. So you can play Varus top against just about anything. I would recommend banning Nasus or Jax. Those are gonna be two of your most challenging matchups. If you're playing against something that can point and click on you like Wukong or Irelia, take Barrier. If you're playing against something that can't point and click jump on you, just go Ghost Flash like we have. We have Press the Attack, Presence of Mind for the Mana, Alacrity Last Stand, with Overgrowth Bone Plating, Attack Speed 80, and Armor. You can go Coup de Gras, but a lot of times in lane, especially whenever you're ready to one-shot them, you're already low, so which is why Last Stand's pretty good. Got the D-Blade start with Potion, and we're going to be rushing down Nash into Rift into Ravadon. Going to be a fun game. Their comp's poop. Our comp's a lot stronger. <laughs> You usually want to push early on Varus to hit your level 2 power spike. Level 2 is massive. We have extra attack speed from killing. Nice. Trying to find an auto on this guy. He is seemingly not autoable. Oh, canceled that auto. That's my mistake. We'll lock him down here. Got it. We used a W active to increase our damage a little bit. It's better when they're lower HP, but I didn't want to miss a bunch of minions. I knew I couldn't really kill him. I could have flash forced his flash. Maybe. We can play this slow, though. We don't have to do anything too crazy. Found an auto on him there. Oh, that actually hit. Dang. Well played to him. Get him with our E. Try to walk him down for an auto. Couldn't quite find it. Got to be a little bit careful about the Echo Jungle ganks coming in around 3.30ish. We want to try to land, press the attack, and then... And then we want to uh, do our big boy move. 10 gold each. I didn't realize GP Barrels gave that much. That seems like a lot of gold. Got it. I'm going to ghost. We need to build up some distance. We'll run him down. Hey, friend. He missed his jump. I pegged him with some damage. Something we messed up on the GP is we threw away all of our blight. We applied through with our autos with our E. You want to do it with an empowered W then Q to maximize your damage output. Wow, he keeps landing that. It's bad for me. We want to try to freeze this down. Yeah, that is kind of unfortunate there. So many minions that we can't really get them all. We'll get them with an E. I know we can kill them. We just need to triple auto W into Q. The longer you charge your Q, the more damage it does. So a lot of times you'll walk them down with it. Throwing out max range Qs isn't generally the move though. It takes away your kill pressure. Biggest thing is we need to stop letting him hit us with barrels. I'm used to GP barrel speed when it's really fast, but since he's low level, it's taking forever for them to kind of tick down. I think we did get the echo flash. Nice and nice. Oh, wow. He almost got me there. He got me to twitch. We want to get him with the full press the attack, then WQ if we can. Got his bone plating there at least. There it is. He reacts. He doesn't want me to pop it. Got it. I'm going to die. He, did, he doesn't get the kill though. We could have burned R. I figured he would have just flashed it because it's a scarier, bigger ability. That's worth though. We get the X kit. He loses a lot of minions. Let's go ahead and we'll pick up, I'd say plated, honestly. I don't want to have to overcommit for that right now. 
We do still have R. It's kind of nice. He's going to most likely use orange and cleanse himself out of it. Your Q does a lot more damage the more blight you have. A lot more. Yeah, you really want to have that for the W active. Uh, he's really trying to time that. He's trying to get me with his Q there. His minions aren't going to hit me. Uh, almost messed up the cannon. Got it. Got it. And got it. Nice. I don't have any potions, so this is a bit worrying. Oh, yeah. It goes bot side. We're chilling. Walk him down here. I think he probably has a thing in the bush. Auto him to eat. Down he goes. He played that pretty well. He ended up dodging my R. We have more damage output than he does, though. We try to use our W active into Q once he's below half health. Maximize its damage. Get a few autos onto them. Pop the Q. Nice, nice, and nice. Almost missed the cannon. His dash is going to be on a cooldown here. All right, he's dead. Down he goes. <laughs> That's so funny. That's hilarious. The way he died. He thought you could do it. When you're low health against Varus, guys, if you don't have a guaranteed way of blocking or dodging his empowered WQ. Oh, it's so funny. As the damage rat ramps up rapidly. Because each stack of blight does 7% uh, right now, max health damage. So up to 20% if I hit with an ability after I have three autos on him. And then it does an additional up to 15% of their missing health. So it's nearly doing half their health if they're low enough. I think he's probably in a bush setting something up. That's why you max your blight first. Blight max and the Q max and the E max last. E's really just for the slow and uses an auto reset. You really don't need your E too much. You missed that combo. It's not easy to land GP barrels on range champs in lane though. This is not an easy matchup for GP. The only way it'd be an easier matchup if we're against a slow mobile melee top, kind of like a Shen, a Laoi, Mordekaiser. Those are crazy easy. I mean, I don't really want to. He's got full health. Got it. A little bit sloppy. I don't think I even used my W active there. Kind of just pressed all my buttons at once and it happened to work out. Short-circuited. Quite a bit of damage output for Jarv not having a full item. Wait, Kai'Sa actually killed Talon. That is a little bit surprising. Still full health. I could stay, but I'm sitting on a Nash. So I don't really want to. Losing a lot of this turret. Get our E on him. Auto into Q. Auto, auto, E, auto. I don't know why Jarvan didn't just pill for me. That's fine though. Looks like he's about to die. He needs to jump out. He tried to slow her over the wall there. He's waiting for his combo to come back up. GP does get the shutdown on us. That kind of sucks. I wasn't able to get away from Echo. He's moving too quick. Got Nash now. We'll go for Sork Shoes. Varus really is all magic damage with this type of build with the W and the R. That's where all of our percent base damage is on the W pat. Um, I guess the W passive and active. Both sides of it. Just applying Blight, hitting them with an ability, or using W active and using Q. It'd be nice if you could W active then E, but it only works for your Q. 
and then you can toggle it off which is kind of cool you click it and then you don't press Q I imagine talent doesn't want us mid but you kind of have to now the flesh GP is gonna do that that's a big wave top I didn't realize GP was gonna do that Normally, once they lose their turret, they don't go back because he's got nowhere to run to. It's kind of greedy for him to do that. Could hold this in a perma, perma freeze. It's not really worth though. We need to go fight for drag. Dragon is kind of our win con. Echo tries to do something, but he gets snared, he gets charmed, he burns flash. Might be able to kill Kai's if she steps up on town. Here, I'll ghost so I can flash R for it. Got her bone play. Push the wave. Holy crap. We need to get drag here. We're going to lose a bunch of plates topside. We have to justify it through something. How do we actually lose that? I have to ghost. Looks like Aphelios is about to die. Yeah, he just lets himself die. Got him. I didn't even use my W active there. I didn't quite get on the target that I wanted to. Got it. Talon almost lived there. I guess I could have flash hard, maybe saved him. I didn't think he was going to keep going for it, though. I was on a ghost extension, so I was moving pretty quick. GP just got like four plates. Holy crap. I'd rather have dragon than four plates though. Dragon's way more important in the long run, especially since our lane phase is basically over. I have okay CS, all things considered. I don't have TP. Seraphine really shouldn't be top right now. God is bone plating. There's no reason to use W active when they're full health. It doesn't really do anything. It's just missing health damage. I do have blue buffs so I can mana spam a little bit. It looks like Seraphine was trying to hit me there. That was weird. Kogma way, way deep. Phelios is going to die though. <laughs> Why is he spam pinging? My whole team looks like my whole team's about to die here. Auto, auto, no R. Auto, auto, Q. Couldn't get down my Q. It didn't travel even though it went on cooldown. If Phelios, this is why I normally just mute my teammates. His pings aren't useful at all. He just runs in and dies solo. He has nobody near him, and he's blaming his team for that. He died really quick. Uh, we could go for Crown. Generally, Riftmaker is better. Crown wouldn't be bad against what they have. They're very bursty. Similar AP. Crown is a little bit cheaper. I guess we could run that. With Kaisa jumping on me or a stray GP barrel or running into like a Shaco box or something. We have to win the next drag fight. GP's caught up in gold now since he got full turret plates to himself. Kogma has 10 kills. Oh my gosh. Even though my Q went on cooldown, my arrow didn't travel. I pressed WQ before I died. I was trying to get Kaisa as low as possible. It just didn't hit her. I don't know what happened to it. It counted as cooldown even though it didn't actually go. Some abilities work like that though. She doesn't have any blight on her, so this wouldn't actually kill her. Gotta push the wave. Wow, I think I hit that before he did. <laughs> what? My auto was already in. It's letting him barrel. Dude, I'm straight up hitting the barrel. <laughs> it's like it gives him a half a second window where even if my auto is there first, it still lets him hit it. Almost like a recall, how you can't stop a recall last half second. It's wild. Just have to try not to even hit those. He's a goner here. Deep is going to cut him off. 
surprised that Phalios isn't moving that quick. I know he just ghosted, but even before then, it looks like he was building up distance, like running away. GP didn't take first strike. Why am I getting pinged? I guess that's why. Got it. Oh! Jarvan is not level... Ooh, level 10 it gives. I thought it was level 11. Maybe it's just when they finish their jungle item. I don't know. Free red buff. I'll take it. So yeah, apparently it's not level 11. It's just when they have their jungle item finished. Apparently it just gives it. Hey, Shaco. That, that was just straight up the real Shaco. Alright. We'll turn off our W. That was weird. That He thought he could do that. Huh. Because he had me exhausted. He thought he had damage output. Weird. But he went through my R. Down he goes. WQ. He blinked through it with the second part of his dash. So much easier to play the game when you have your teammates muted. I don't have my W ready. Got it. Oh, easy, dude. Just mute your teammates and you can actually play the game. Imagine that. You don't have to see your AD carry. <laughs> Spam ping your team that he died solo. <laughs> Man, easy game. Got crown. Let's go for... I'd say Robidon next, but I'm pretty far away from it. We definitely need Dragon. Dragon OP. Should I go support? Oh my gosh. Wow, that damage. Woo wee. That's some big boy damage right there. They can't one tap me at all, now at all. Got Crown. Just my attack speed. Hello, Echo. I can't get to him. I can't get to him. We did get Dragon at least. No clue where he's at. He probably just kept running. I can't really do a whole lot there. Let's Chaco chew on that. I am not interested in that fight. That's the fake one. I don't think I actually killed it. I think it blew up right as my last hit was going in. Pretty sure we would get our passive from getting a takedown on enemy champ. Takedown's just a killer assist. I'll go for the Kog'Maw. Auto, auto, Q. Gotta get around that. Looks like, ooh, Tarvin was able to get it. Cog's pretty fed too. I'm on ghost extensions. Oh, there's more nonsense. Suppose I'll go for that blue. Look to deal with Kaisa then. GP has as many items as me. We gotta keep getting drags. They lack a definitive front line. GP's more of a backliner and Shaco's can't hold a front at all. Maybe if he was Tank Shaco, that's not very viable. Kaisa's chasing the kill. I think I'm about to run into Shaco. About to run into somebody. I'm face checking a lot of darkness. Got it. That was my WQ. I did flash for it though. Hey, Kaisa, I'm surprised you stayed over here, buddy. Oh, there he goes. He's not very tanky. <laughs> he dies so fast. Oh, Kaisa missed almost hit. Jepepe doesn't want us getting his blue, I suppose. 
Nice. Get ourselves a new blue. More cooldown on our W active. I think we actually could Baron here. We can show out a flame once I can afford it. I need 85 gold, please. I can't really afford it still. I'll have to wait in Fountain for a moment. They're thinking about fighting us on Baron, but we're not actually over there. There's the Shadow Flame. Kog'Maw has some magic resist now. I have some magic penetration though. We need to pick up Rabadon ASAP. As soon as possible. We're all over here. We have Town Split pushing bot, maximum value. There it is. There it is. I feel like when he queues, he can't out compete my autos, but when he does his melee auto, it gives him that huge window to hit it, even though I'm hitting it. Boom, landed my thing on the GP. I don't have ghost. Got him. What does he, who, who does he think he is doing that? Auto, auto into Q, auto. <laughs> we have 280 carry. I'm an AP carry, that's an AD carry. Got a big shutdown on my head now. This game's wrapped up though. Just pushing in the wave, we got dragon coming up. Could take mid turret. That would be fine. Oof, Felios overstaying a bit, dies for it. Might be able to find a kill here if someone walks into me. Get him with an auto R. Auto WQ. That's going to be the magic trick. I guess we could lead in with an E because of its long travel time. I didn't even have to use my W there. Look, I'm not taking damage. Got it. Wow, look at me. I'm getting the GP barrels now. I think he's trying to use his Q on him for some reason. He almost hit me with that. Yeah, there he goes. The real one. Oh, there it is. There goes Jepepe. Wait, why is Kog'Maw killing me? Come on, Kog'Maw, don't do that. Oh, that was the fake one was still alive <laughs> what the real one's dead why is the fake one running around all right it's time for drag this must be warded right yeah it has to be if i can hit someone with an r here they'll be doomed doomed to 545 more importantly it holds him still Kai said it doesn't want it. <laughs> she knows she'll die for it. Echo's looking for it. Get with an R, WQ. Down he goes. Kai said goes in. I don't have anything left to sh scrap with here, really. I think I hit. Wait, no, I guess I missed Cogma off that Q. Oh, that's the fake one. So we don't get our passive off Shaco clone. Interesting. Be nice if we did. Dude, he's <laughs> what is he doing? I could kill him. Yep, down he goes. I don't think he understands how much damage we can do. Not one bit. It's kind of just jumping in. I need to reset for Robadon here. Six hundred gold. 600 gold is what I need. W's ready. Alright, Echo. I didn't get any blight on him. Oof. That's bad. 
Oof, that almost hit me. It's time for my Rabadan. Yeah, we can afford it. Cool. We will have somewhere around 600 AP with Rabadon. Maybe like 550 or something. Yep. Oh, 590. Let's go. All right. Now our W does. Uh, each Blight stack deals 20% of their max health. Holy cow. If I have three Blight stacks hidden with an ability, it's 60% of their max health. And then W active can do a maximum of 21% of their missing health. So, <laughs> damage is getting out of hand. Oh, come on. That's a kill. Got it. Oh, he gets it though. Oh, I got Shaco. <laughs> All right. Not bad. Now we transition into magic penetration, Void Staff. Because we're already doing 63% of their max health, or 64% if we can land three Blight and hit them, or even one Blight and, and two abilities, 20% of their max health. The six, like 64% damage off of three autos and an ability is insane. 64% of max health. That doesn't even include the ability damage itself, which obviously they have their own damages. AP Varus is so overpowered. How is that balance? That's better than Vein True Damage because this is a much higher level, much higher percent. And with uh, Crown, I'm never going to get one tap. It's pretty much impossible. We take 75% reduced damage for 1.5 seconds after being in combat. So when they try to burst me, it doesn't work. Plus that 75%, I believe, is after. I've already mitigated by 54 and uh, 36%. So ultimately, the 75, when you combine it with our already baked in resistances, it's more around 90%. Pretty big. Got it. WQ, short hop it. We don't need to charge Q. If we're going to miss the Q to charge it, there's no point of charging it. You can quote me on that. <laughs> there's no point to charge you if you can kill them without it. You're more likely to miss it. They have more time to react. It's hardly a skill shot if you just tap it because it goes so quick and they don't have time to react. Ooh, I actually needed that. I guess I don't get healing from it because I don't have jungle. I never mind. I didn't need that. This is Drag Soul. Seraphine's gonna keep healing us up. W's a 29 second cooldown, Q's a 9, E's a 10, and R's a 44. The best thing to counter out a Varus with is um, just Nasus or Jax. But even then, Varus does have options. Just R the Jax or Nasus, you hit him. If you get a teammate to block for you, you can shred Nasus pretty hard. Your Blight does have a damage cap against monsters, up to 360 max. They don't want you to be able to solo Baron in 5 seconds on Varus. But if you could do 60% of his max health with 3 autos and 1 ability, yeah, you could take Baron under 5 seconds. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. I almost just died. Oh my gosh. Why are these guys still chasing? I gotta get out of here, dude. Gotta reset. Kaisa Magic Missile hurts. She's going to AP build. Can't afford Void Staff. That's okay. We don't need it. Jarvan goes in, not the best idea at this stage in the game with how much damage everyone's doing. They probably don't understand why my Q does so much damage. A lot of people aren't aware of Varus active on his W. They probably just think my Qs do that much damage. The only time we really even Q them is when our W is up. They're on the Baron. 
Uh, maybe we can stop it. Kind of need vision though. All right, that was the clone. Not a big surprise on that one. That was to be expected. Hey, GP. Jabroni. Yeah, goodbye, GP. Erased. <laughs> he thinks he has burst. Not even close <laughs> to our power levels. Hmm, there's the Seraphine R. Hot and fresh. I don't have the stuff to really kill Cog. Auto in the Q. There's an empowered WQ as well. Died from the Kogma Kaisa there. Kaisa did most of the damage. I mean, I could go with Zanyas. That would help out a lot in that type of situation. Or if I had Ghost Flash. I needed to be able to clear distance. Hellblaze is probably better in the true late game. Press attack's better for lane phase. This is the surprise damage that it gives you since it increases your damage outputs for you and your allies against that person by 12% for 6 seconds. But yeah, in the late game, Hellblaze is probably a little bit better. Or a little bit more consistent. For full build. Yeah, I'd, I'd say we sell... We sell something for Zhonyas. Maybe even sell boots, get Zhonyas. Or if something gave us movements, we could sell boots and get that instead. I'm not seeing it though. I guess we could go for... Cosmic instead of boots, 100 AP, that'd be good with Robidon. Probably be our best bet in terms of AP. I have Ghost now, we should be able to wrap this game up. We're full build, GP's basically full build, Kaisa's basically full build, Cog's full build. Though we are fed, so are they. I'm gonna Ghost for this. He died before I could even uh, use all my abilities on him there. Getting shredded. Down you go, Shaco. Star doesn't give much value if you kill it. I don't think my arrow killed the box. Oh, it did. It just didn't show it. Because I floated it in right as it was turning invisible. Oh, whoa, that was a lot of damage. I think I had two or three Blight on him. That E did over a thousand magic damage, even though the E itself only does 220 physical. I think that might be it. Who's alive, Echo? That's GG. GG's well played. Let's take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt, damage champions, we did have the most in the game. And Kog'Maw was number two, percent based damage OP, damage taken, middle of the pack, uh, self mitigated, middle of the pack, and for runes, good value. All in all, AP Varus, super strong, and AP Varus top, amazingly strong. Uh, just remember, if they have a kind of point and click dash to get on you, like I really Wukong, take Barrier or Exhaust. If they don't, you can get away with Flash Ghost, and make sure you ban Jax or Nasus. If you guys enjoyed this Varus video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.